Squeeze in here, Tom. Get over here. So I wanted to have a debate with you guys. What kind of debate do you want to use? Are we going tuna fishing? This is not political. This is just, I don't think we can see all you guys over there, but I think we'll be all right. Um, right now? So I want to have a debate on, and I know not a lot of us can possibly answer a lot of these questions, but maybe from visual experience. What are the pros and cons of an ATV versus a side by side? So, in other words, what if you've ridden an ATV or a side by side? What would direct you? Like, what are your experiences that you would say, "Hey, I prefer an ATV because of this," or "I prefer a side by side because of that," or I'll "I don't like off. riding a side by side because of this." I'll start it off. Go I ahead. like riding ATVs because when I flip it, I can just don't. <laughs> if I'm in a side by side. I'm crammed in there. You're crammed in there. You're harnessed in your belt. Yeah, you have to get out if yeah, the door can. Side by side is a little more comfortable, okay? especially as, as you're getting older. Who's old? <laughs> We're getting older. Wait a minute. So, who said that, Matt? Do you see him crawling in here today? Do you like Buck or the four wheeler? Both. Why? Why do you like both? Uh, because Buck is like uh, cool and fast. And he likes to go on, like, he can go over, like, big rocks. Okay. Okay. All right. What about, um, um, so, Tom, you prefer an ATV over side-by-side -side because you can dismount much quicker. Well, I was joking with that, but, see, I really can't comment on side-by-side because -side I really am driven. But from what you've witnessed and seen, what would attract you to a side-by-side? I don't know. I like my four wheelers better. Okay. Than a side by side. Okay. We're gonna save you for last. What? <laughs> We're gonna save you for last. So, Ronnie, you have a Wolverine 700 R spec, and you also have multiple four wheelers. You also have a Can Am Maverick 1000 Sport. And a pot. Yep. And yeah, and and Odyssey. Uh, so, yeah. so what do you prefer? And I why? prefer my Wolverine it's a lot easier, it's a lot nicer, and not to mention it's a little comfortable of a ride. Okay. And I can go through basically anything with it. Okay. Okay. Except for that one mud puddle up where we were at. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't a mud puddle. <laughs> the struggles we go through together was, as a team makes us stronger. Way, <laughs> it doesn't mean your machine. That weak. was embarrassing. <laughs> All right. So, so Preston, so you good. have not ridden in a side by side? I have ridden side by side. Okay. Yeah. And would you purchase one? Would I purchase one? Absolutely. Okay. Would there be any reasons that would direct you more just, to a four-wheeler? Just for the getting no, – I like my four-wheelers. Don't get me wrong. Side-by-sides okay. could just be more comfort. Okay. But I like the ability to be able to go just about anywhere on a four-wheeler, where side-by-sides get a little wider, a little different. A little bit turning so, radius. Yeah. yeah, a little tighter. Okay. I prefer my quads, though. Bufa, anything? No, I've never ridden in a side-by-side, -side, so, but I wouldn't say I wouldn't get one. Okay. But I, yeah, I like my four wheeler. Okay, Matthew. Never been in a side by side as well. Um, would I be against it? Absolutely not. As you can tell, I look thirty seven, but I'm a little bit older than that. So down the road, would I consider that? I would. Do they make handicap ones so, where we can your wheelchair in and out for you? Wait a minute. <laughs> Time out. Whoa, 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 whoa! You look more. Well, no, no, see, no, he, he's dyslexic. He, he, he said he's 27. He's actually 72. He's Today he's you walked 72. in here looking 72. All right, all right. Uh, Zach, Troy, comment. Zach rides dirt bikes. He prefers yeah. dirt bikes. He likes being on two wheels. Yeah. Um, so maybe. I've ridden to a side by side. And you've had four wheelers, yeah, sport I mean, quads. What are the pros and cons? What would you think? Uh, what would you see as a pros and con pro and con? Well, the side by side for the ATVs is, you know, the side by side. You know, like everyone else, they're more comfortable and they're kind of more like, you know, like refined. Like driving you a know, truck. But it's also too is if you're having more people, you know, you're spending you know forty some thousand on you know ATV you know, side by side. That's a lot of money. You could go buy a lot of money to buy. You know what I mean? And see a motor motor I understand. I understand. <laughs> Troy? Well, I'm saying though, it's like it's, it's not all like in your face. You know what I mean? On the ATV, it's you can show, you know, it's it's all in your face. It's as that you're just sitting there. Yeah. But also, too, is I'm not posted. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Uh, Troy? I drove both, and uh, the ATV, I feel like I have a little more control over it, and I can see a little bit better on the trail, but 
side by side if either one. Okay. All right. Okay. So I've driven two Wolverines and I love driving both of them. I did. But it is like Troy said, night and day because being on an ATV, you're out looking pretty much everything. You can see, you know, your rear wheels. You can lean over and see them. You can lean out the door and you're on your side by side and see your rear wheels. But it's different traversing trails and rocks and trees. And like you said, having that tighter, being able to skirt, you know, through trails and stuff. Um, maybe it's the driver. Yeah. Because I know this guy is on my tail constantly and I can actually hear his motor right behind me. The other thing with the side by side, too, that a lot of guys didn't even mention is you need a bigger trailer, right? No. First. <laughs> I mean, I'm for Matt, I, I put a 16 foot Matchbox. You, need a, you would need a, a, a larger trailer than compared to hauling a single ATV. If you had a trailer with a four-wheeler, yes, you would need a bigger trailer. Correct. But if you had Ron's toys, you don't need a bigger trailer because he has all these toys. My man's got so many toys. He's catching up to, to uh, John here. So John's like swimming in toys right now. So I saved the best for last because John... You have one of the best opinions, so fire away. Uh, I love them both. Yep. Give me a four wheel all day long. Yep. Uh, side by side. I like it. I love it. I own it, but it's just, it's nice for taking small children. Yep. And. Or people who have never people have driven never out. an ATV. Because, I mean, I took my stepdaughter and. Put her in it for the first time. She'd never driven it. She yep. drove 27 miles through treacherous terrain. Yep. Never she got me all wet. Never once felt uncomfortable. <laughs> she and did great. She did a phenomenal job. She did. Yeah. She did. I mean, you can take somebody that never drove yeah. something and put them in it and they're yeah. confident. Yep. Yep. Um, but I mean, promoting four wheelers and pair bikes and side by sides, I love four wheelers all day long. Okay. All right. Another thing for me. And I think Tom kind of agrees with me on this, and side-by-side -side owners don't take this personal. I don't want to load up a side and drive side. two hours in a vehicle to get out and unload a vehicle that I practically drove there in, if you know what I mean. Kind of you're like you're driving in a car or a truck, and then you unload something and you drive again. Yeah, but I'd least, rather ride. When, when you unload side-by-side, you're driving side, yeah. you something that's – Super ultra capable for the train. I know. Yeah, I know. Take a BMW it's not a car, right? <laughs> Leave my BMW if you out of this. Up your side by side, you can load it up and take it home. That's true. Yeah. That's true. That's true. That I think I will. I honestly <laughs> think that with my my, I've never I've rode into a couple of them, but I think it'll tear my back up because I have a back problem. Compared to a, a ATV, you can adjust to it. In the side by side, you strap on the harness, yeah. and your back is taking the pressure. Yeah, yeah. That's my opinion. Uh, yeah, and then like Tom said, you know, if we get into a situation on a four wheeler, and we all have four wheelers, that you can dismount them really quick, really quick. So versus trying to jump out of a side by side. So. Because I don't, you know, don't jump out. Throttle out. Guys, a little bit of a little bit of what. Skill on those four All right. Wheels. All right. I'm just saying, man. We're done here. Well, so you that's need to learn how to ride on a side by side. So. Oh, uh, here we go. Shots are being fired. I gotta have to cut this off. Wait a minute. That's wrong. Side by side. What? I thought this is where you were going to reveal you want a side by side. No. No. Uh, so this guy. This guy's not. Gonna say he got a CF motor on the way. No. 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 I'm uh. Until my grandson is his age, I'm probably not going to have a side by side. So, I'll definitely. I'm a four wheeler guy. Get Larry down to about seventy five hundred, and we'll talk.